Yeah, I want to put out that there's actually the Ebola virus frequencies are in Spooky 2 software. There's the frequencies. So I got kind of got this on a Windows magnifier so you can read them because this thing's like kind of small. And if you're trying to look at my recording on top of the video on your computer, it's probably going to be like even smaller. So uh, anyway... Um, so they were like 169, 234, 229, 244, 479, 957, 1195, 9, 1914. And then one version has 3828, and the other one has 1828. But anyway, that's what they are. And if I was running this puppy, I would put it on 100% positive offset right there. I put it right there on, uh, well, I don't know if you're running contact mode or something, you would run it on 100% positive offset off the one contact mode, and I don't know. I, I personally, I can always run at 20 volts. Actually, it's 10 volts up one way. If um, you put this at 20, it actually is, um, it's actually... 0 to 10 volts when you have 100% positive offset. And I just going by what Holder Clark says because I'm really sold on that advice about the positive offset. But it does have it in there on your spooky software, Ebola virus, under extra. Just type in Ebola up here, and you got it. And the other thing you can do, I don't know if this is going to be any good, but I don't even know if any of them are going to be. You know, you got this. You got the... Uh, uh, what is it? Col silver colloidal. Yeah, right here. Right there. Silver octal one of one. Silver octal two of two. Colloidal silver scalar. And so you can run that. I don't know if that's, you know, I don't even know if it's going to work or not, but. Hey, if you got this puppy already, you got Ebola in there, and I don't know if colloidal silver will work, but, you know, who the hell knows? Maybe you want to run both of them. But, just figured I'd put it out there because a lot of people, are, well, I don't know how many people on my channel are watching about spooky software, but there probably a few. But it's in there, man. If you haven't noticed it, that it's in there. So, all you got to do is go up there and type Ebola, E B. O-L-A, very easy to spell. <laughs> and it says Ebola hemorrhagic fever and Ebola virus. So one, they're basically the same set of frequencies. So hemorrhagic fever is, I don't know, it's got one frequency a little bit different than Ebola virus. I don't know what the hell the difference is, but, and I know it's a theory, but hey, what the hell, right? You got it, right? If you got it, you know, maybe you want to give it... I hope nobody got a Ebola, but if they're trying to scare you, well, I don't know if this will work, but I personally, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be like Ebola hemorrhagic fever with 100% positive offset, amplitude 20 volts, four point contact system, three points positive, like I showed that's in another video. That's what I would be doing. So, anyway, I forgot to put this out for your information only because. I don't know, you know, I don't know how many people tested this thing and worked on them. You know, I believe in a lot of this stuff with the frequencies and some of this stuff is useful, but I don't know if everything on the list works, you know. Uh, it's hard to say, but I think some of it does work for sure, in my opinion. Anyway.